Hello and welcome to Happy Analytics. In this video, we are going to learn what is Crisp DM. We're going to see what is Crisp DM and how it helps and how can we use it and when should we use it and why should we use it. Let's get right into it. We'll start with what is Crisp DM. The definition of Crisp DM is a data mining technology or a methodology or a process that helps you or provides you a blueprint to conduct a data mining project. That's about it. If you see the CRISP, actual expansion of CRISP is C or for cross, I for industry, S for standard, P for process, and DM for data mining. So it's a cross industry standard process for data mining. So this was actually been implemented in 1996. It was founded by uh, major companies uh, like Dalmer Rands and uh, Industry Solution, NCO, and these companies, they've actually implemented in around 200 data mining users and tools, and then they came up with this model. Let's get in detail and understand more. This is the definition what I just told you. This is Crisp DM. You can pass it and make a note. How it helps, it actually provides you a roadmap. That's really important. It gives you best practices and it provides you structures for better and faster results of using data mining. So that's why we go for CRISP DM and that's how it helps the business. And now we'll see why, who, and when. So this is actually founded by four major companies. You can see Delmia or Daimler-Benz, ISL, which is a industrial standard solution, and then NCR and OHRA some Germany companies, all they worked together in 1996 and came up with this model. And this is a non-proprietary documented and a freely available process. That's what they actually designed it. That's how they designed it. So everybody can use it. So here's the actual model. So you might have noticed this diagram n number of times whenever you go to Google and type Christium, or maybe in your academics, you might have noticed this diagram quite often. So we're not going to go in detail about the diagram. It's self-explanatory. It starts with business understanding and ends with deployment. Let's understand each and every module and you will get to know how this functions. We'll start with business understanding. So business understanding is where you convert a business objective or you understand the project from business perspective and then you convert it to data mining subtasks. So you convert a business objective into a data mining objective or a data mining tasks where you can apply technologies or modeling technologies into it. That's all is about business understanding. There are four main, uh, major tasks that we have to focus in business understanding. It starts with uh, determining your business objective where you actually focus and understand what is the true goal of my project and what are some of the important factors that we need to know about the business. And then the second is assessing the situation where you list out what are the assumptions that we need to make, what are the cost benefit analysis that we need to do. And then third is determine the data mining goals where you set objectives for the team or the business. And then fourth is where you provide a project plan where you set specific outlines and you also propose a timeline and you see these are all the tools and techniques that we're going to use. And that is business understanding. Next comes Data understanding, this is phase two. Data understanding starts with the initial collection of data and where you increase the familiarity with the data, right? And you also have to create a hypothesis based on the data quality and the data that you already have. If you have any interesting data sets, you can provide an initial hypothesis with the hidden information that you have collected. Now here again, we have four major tasks. It starts with uh, collecting the data, describing the data, exploring the data and data quality. It's self-explanatory, but I'll just go through it. So data collection is where you collect and acquire the data. And you, if you see if there is any problem that you have encountered, you have to make note of it. And describing the data is where you actually examine the, uh, the uh, surface of the data. And if you see any um, uh, problems that you have during the acquired acquire, uh, acquiring the data, and then you also have an option to see what are the uh, formats that we can set and how much quality or quantity that you have. And you can also set records and fields in tables. And all this we can do in the descript description of data. 
here the major question or an important question to ask is does the data that I've acquired satisfy the requirement that I set in the business objective or in the business understanding that will help you understand okay I've got the enough data now. so the third is actually exploration of data exploration of data is where you create a data exploration report and then what are all your first findings or your initial hypothesis that you have and you give it as exploration report and the fourth is the data quality which actually is a significant task here what we do here is actually find the missing attributes and then we see if there is any uh, blank fields or if you see any uh, spelling mistakes of the values we just make a note of the quality of the data that you have and that's all we do here also if you see anything with any conflicts in the data you can mention that as well so that's all we do in data understanding third phase is data preparation in data preparation what we actually do is now we have the data we have acquired the data we have the quality and then now here we have the in this phase of data preparation what we actually do is we set the final data set here we set the final data set and we will be using this data set for the modeling which is the next phase so to give a definition it's all about uh, collecting all the data and uh, setting a final data set and that will be fed into the modeling tools that we're going to use in the next phase that is data preparation here also we have some uh, straightforward actions that we have to do we have to select and decide what the data that we're going to use and we also see how clean is the data you can also go to the data quality so they actually interrelate so what are the missing attributes that we have is there any spelling mistake we clean the data and we have the correct verified data and then we move on to construct the data is where you actually develop new records or you describe new attributes that you want to uh, create and fourth is where you integrate where you combine multiple records and tables all together and integrate it where you aggregate the data fourth is format where you remove some illegal uh, characters that you find or if you want to uh, trim the values uh, as per your model so all that you can do in the formatting data that's all we do in data preparation but if you see major work actually focuses on data preparation but it may uh, look simple but it actually requires a lot of work Modeling is where you actually propose various model techniques and select and apply them and see if you can apply that and what are the uh, options that we have. So we have four major tasks here as well. Here we select the model and decide uh, this is the model that we're going to build. Is it going to be a neural network or whatever techniques that we have? And then we're going to test it. We're going to see uh, generate a test and see if the test quality and we'll see if there is an empirical test. That's all we do in testing it. Third is where you create a model and fourth is where you access the model in assessing the model is where you work with your uh, business analysts and then your result you combine them and then give it as a business output so that's all we do in business uh, sorry in modeling in evaluation we actually create we actually work with our uh, business objectives and then we come up with evaluation sheets and then we come up with uh, process reviewing and then we'll see if there is anything that we have to determine for the next steps so here we actually summarize the whole result and then we give it as a business criteria that's all we do in evaluation fourth and the the final phase your sixth phase is where you actually deploy deploying is where we actually present the report or decide to carry the project to the next level or we take and carry forward to the business steps or deploying the steps that we have so here we have some major tasks we uh, plan the deployment and uh, monitor it if it is a day-to-day -day activity how do we monitor it or maintain it uh, perform maintenance on it and fourth is uh, third is final report that we're going to submit to the actual business and then we review the project that's all we do in the whole process if you now go to the actual diagram that we have now you should get an understanding of what's business understanding data understanding or how the data is prepared and what are the modeling that we're going to use and how we're going to evaluate and are we going to deploy it now if you see from evaluation it goes back to business understanding which means that we we may require multiple iterations we may evaluate and then go to the business understanding and set the objective again and go through the process one more time so there is this is all we have in crisp dm and if you have any further queries put it on the comment box and we'll take it forward bye for now